Good morning. It is, uh, it's like 10.30 or so. I slept in a little bit. I stayed up till like 1, and then I woke up at, uh, like 8. 8, I woke up at 8.45, and I'm like, alright, I could get up right now, and I could go hit all the thrift stores, and I could go do all the things. I just didn't really care to bother. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm tired. And, uh, it was kind of worth it, because... <clears throat> The Amish thrift store that I hit a lot did not put anything out, and I haven't hit the other ones in a while, you know, but, uh, as I was driving over to this one, uh, it just smelled like fire, that's something I haven't really talked about, but yeah, occasionally my car just smells like it's on fire, which is not a good thing, you know what I mean, you ever want to smell fire, or burning things, when you're, well, living in your car, <clears throat> it's a bad thing, I'm pretty sure it's just like a belt, this time it smelled kind of weird, but usually it's just like a burning rubber smell, which is bad too. But you know, <clears throat> things are what things are, right? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about hitting the thrift stores, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. I was like, oh, I can go hit the thrift stores, and then uh, I can have Burger King, or you can, you can spend two dollars at Burger King, you can get like a ten-piece chicken nugget, and then they give out a free French fry. I think it's like once a week or once a something. I don't get it very often, but they'll give out a free french fry and you can make it a large. So you can get a 10 piece chicken nugget and a large french fry for $2 and like 13 cents or something, which is really good. <laughs> you know, it's, it, not that Burger King's the best or anything, but it's like, you know, I, I haven't gotten Wendy's in years and I'm, I'm guessing it's probably like 6 or $7 for a 8 piece or a 6 piece and a, and a large fry. So, yeah. I was going to do that, but then I just slipped in, and I decided I'm not going to do that. My package, I've been tracking the package. It uh, it had no shipping label created or whatever. It had no movement, and then uh, it's here. I haven't actually checked this morning. I checked last night, and it said it arrived there, and it'll be, you know, there today. So I should be able to just go pick it up, which is nice. Uh, hopefully it's there. I'm not going to, like, you know, guarantee that it's there. Like, for all I know, it got sent back, and I'm about to go have to deal with some BS at the post office. But well, probably not. That's it's probably not a thing. I hope. The whole point of getting the post uh, uh, PO box was so that my packages would stop being sent back. Because vaping stuff online is so cheap. Like it's just so cheap. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, I had a thought, and then the thought it, it went away. That's not good. Uh, I got mandated at work, at least. Uh, well, I haven't taken a shower. I'm gross. It's whatever. You know. I had a thought, and I lost that thought. You know, because, uh... I don't know. Either CTE or, you know, things like that. Or drugs. Could be one or the other. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. So, my package is apparently here. Um, my card thing. I paid my card thing. Uh, so, that's paid. So, you know... I have a license for another year on that. <clears throat> um, I feel like there was something else. Oh, uh, yeah, my Amazon. I went ahead and ordered those cords off Amazon. I, I had the thought, and like I said, it just disappeared. I ordered the stuff off Amazon. <clears throat> I ordered my cords. Uh, like the some USB-A to USB-Cs, and then USB-C to Cs. And then the 3.5 to C for the headphones. So what are those? I think it was like 33 bucks. It's not the cheapest thing, but again, like, I'm clearly using ghetto cords, and it's not charging stuff at an efficient rate. So let's get some better cords and see how that goes. You know what I mean? So I got JSOC cords, you know, good manufacturer and everything. So I'll pick those up at an Amazon locker, like, next week sometime, you know. It, with the idea that my car doesn't break down and nothing bad happens, you know. I can't really live my life like, uh, you know. Everything's going to be on fire all the time. Like, even though I think that sometimes I can't actually live like that because, uh, I don't know, I, I just can't. I have to just kind of, like, you know, moment to moment, you know what I mean? Things are fine now. Like, uh, I'm fine. i got to go work tonight. I've worked, you know, four, today's Friday. I worked four days already this week, so, you know. I got mandated to work on Saturday, which I don't actually care. You know, we had that four-day weekend last week, and I didn't get paid for any of that, even though other people will have been paid for those days and are being paid for overtime. So I can only imagine that the mega checks that some people are getting with all the crap. But uh, me, you know, whatever. 
Uh, I'll be happy to see what this looks like because I was curious what a uh, $26 an hour in overtime on an eight hour shift would look like for me on a check. Because a normal check's five ninety six, so I'm curious uh, how bad I get messed over on over messed up, you know, by the government on overtime. We'll see about that. I'm hoping it's at least seven, you know, because again, I might start working just six days a week as much as humanly possible. Like I might just get myself into that that grind set and push myself to do that, you know, because seven hundred dollars a week is a lot, like. For a poor person living in your car, seven hundred dollars a week for someone who spent forty dollars this week to survive is a lot. Like, I'm gonna stack up that money. Like, I want this foreclosure house. I want this life that I don't know that you know. I I never thought I'd get. For, I don't know. I always thought I needed like one hundred fifty thousand dollars for a house because I'm stupid, right? And I never even knew you could get houses for like ninety thousand dollars or whatever until. I was staying with my cousins. They pay like 80 grand for a house in Akron or whatever. Akron-ish, right? And I didn't even know you could get houses for that cheap because my entire... I, I just didn't know. Like, my entire... Um, the only houses that I had ever known... Like, dude... Like, again, I am special needs, man. And I don't... Like, I don't learn properly. There's a lot of... I have a lot of issues, right? So, again, the only two... By the time I was 26 years old, living in my fucking car, with $23,000 in my pocket, the only way, the only two houses I had ever known anyone to ever have or ever heard anything about was uh, my house that we bought for $142,000 like 10, 000, uh, 10 years ago or whatever, or whenever, you know, my grandpa bought it. There was that house, um, right? And then there was the house in Florida, you know, that was a small crappy house, but it was 186 that that sold for. And then, yeah, so those are the only two, like, price points I had for homes. I didn't know that if I had 20000 I had no credit at the time, but I didn't know that if I had $20,000, like, I knew I could get a piece of, I knew I could find an acre of land. Like, I've said this before, I was able to find an acre of land in South Carolina for, like, a wooded acre of land for, like, two Gs back when I had the money. But in my head, I hadn't been a maintenance man. I hadn't, you know, been this, like... I've, I've essentially had to be a maintenance person, like, fix things, break things, an outdoors man, like, I can run a chainsaw, I can do a lot now, like, a lot of things I can do now that I couldn't do before, right, so, now for me, like, if I got a wooded acre of land, like, dude, in a week, like, I'll have it cleared to stumps, like, it's not a big deal, I do it myself, you know, but I just, at the time, I didn't think that was realistic for me. So I just didn't do it, you know, obviously. I didn't buy an acre of land in South Carolina, which was dumb because it would have been worth a lot more now. Like, probably three times as much, maybe. I don't know. But either way, it just kind of sucks. I didn't think about it at the time, and, I, and that's why I, my money kind of just meant nothing to me. Like, unless I have the amount of money that I need to do things, like, unless I have enough money to... uh buy a, a Toyota SUV or unless I have enough money to buy a foreclosure house or unless I have enough money to buy an a, you know an acre of land or a nice uh, fifth wheel RV my money means nothing to me it literally just means like prolonging you know my survival which I don't really even care about yeah yeah I just don't really care too much about what happens anymore and I know it's not good. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get off that depressing uh, topic, I guess. But either way, like, it'd be nice if I could grind uh, $700 a week uh, until I could get what I want. just want a house. And then I wanted the piece of land in the RV, and if that somehow pops up before a foreclosure house that I can potentially live in, um, you know, I'll pop. You know, I'll look at that as an option. But for the most part, uh, no good acres of land near me at all. Like, I never find anything popped up. I'd have to look around, I think, in the paper or just drive around or really find it. Because, again, I'm in Amish country. So I think maybe that would be the strat to find it. But I don't think most people want to sell an acre of land and stuff. So it's kind of just a little thing. I'm not too sure what I do. But a lot of people, like, this craziness, man. People ask anything or anything. Like, yeah, some people ask, like, $34,000 an acre. You live in Ohio. Let me take that back. Yeah, it's bad. It's just ridiculous sometimes. But, yeah. 
So I'm hoping I can just like save up this money and I'd like to see what these checks look like and yeah. It was it was weird. We had like a safety out yesterday. Some guy came by and he was like, "Do you know what would happen if you violated a safety rule?" And I'm like, and uh, to be honest, I'm like, not exactly. But that's not the answer I gave. <laughs> it's like uh, I either get points or fired. And he's like, yeah. I'm like cool. He's like, sign your name. I'm like, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's bad because all the 20 year veterans and stuff that I kind of like learn from a, a, you know, a little bit <laughs> have all broken tons of safety rules like nobody's following safety rules like everyone's hitting vape pens they're being, it's it's a whole thing dude I could get passed around at lunch to, it's, it's a thing okay like and it's just yeah like it is not yeah I don't know but whatever, I signed this stupid piece of paper, and then we went back to busting work, you know, <laughs> whatever. <clears throat> Shaggy was there today, uh, not beat up, he looked fine, I don't, I don't really know. Didn't look like he got punched in the eye or nothing, this is what I was expecting. I don't know, nothing. <clears throat> oh, and I guess I'll update this story a little bit. Um, so yeah, I, I confirmed uh, that that girl, the, the, you know, the younger girl, actually is the guy, uh, his fiance's daughter she's 24 and he dated the daughter first and then the mother uh you wouldn't believe what brought them together because he's i think 26 and i don't know how old she is but i would assume four and a five um but yeah you would not believe uh methamphetamine brought them together and he's like oh yeah yeah we and i don't know he kind of like spoofed me and I was like, yeah, I can't really tell if you do it or not. And he's like, oh no, no, I don't. We don't do. I don't do that anymore. I'm like, well, I don't, can't tell. So I'll just, you know, take your word for it. I have no idea. Probably doesn't. But again, it's like, I was living with my, you know, one of my friends for a long time who had robbed me and done a lot of messed up stuff to me, uh, Chris. And he was like, he wouldn't go to sleep at night. He would fake going to sleep at night, but he was up on meth every night. And then he was like stealing pot out of my bag that had like I had locks on the bag and he cut the bag open to get the pot like and he's making five thousand dollars a week like dude I'm telling you I've, I've met some insane people you know some insane people yeah yeah but yeah I didn't run around the thrift stores today I'm gonna go pick up my package at the QPS today I gotta work tomorrow we'll see what these checks look like uh, when I get paid next Friday I might have got paid this morning I don't really know See what that looks like, maybe like 300 bucks, 400 bucks, not too sure. But uh, only worked three days last week, so. I don't know, I'm just, uh, I'm tired. I just didn't want to wake up this morning, and it took me a long time to fall asleep. Like, it's kind of, it kind of sucks, like, I, I don't know why, but like, it, like, I get, I get real tired at work, like, for the first, like, two hours sometimes, or even sometimes after uh, the first break. I'm just so exhausted, like, I just want to fall asleep. Like, not only is my back hurting super bad, which is fun. After I take uh, ibuprofen and Tylenol on my lunch, it feels pretty good. And, you know, hit my vape and everything, it starts to go away and kind of doesn't bother me as bad. But, yeah, my back hurts kind of off and on all day long. And then, yeah, so I don't know, it's just kind of, it kind of sucks. It's not the most fun thing. I just try and, like, uh, ignore it all day. If I got a point, lost that point in the middle of that, just talking. But yeah, I see my whole strange can of worms with uh, Shaggy and everything. But we worked our shift yesterday. It was pretty fine. Like, uh, no real issues. Nobody, other than the weird safety audit thing, like nobody came over. And then they were talking about, like, you know, they're making scrap all day, which is like a popular thing that we do on second and third shift is make scrap because the people who should be catching things aren't catching things. <coughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't know that. You know, the supervisor should have told us that because it was on. It wasn't even on my station in any way, so, yeah, I don't know, it is what it is, we don't make a, I, yeah, yeah, I probably should be careful with what I say, <clears throat> but yeah, <laughs> it's not the best, <sighs> I'm just tired, I'm just trying to save up money, I feel like now nah, I'm just kind of talking to nothing, uh, there was nothing really at the thrift stores. Uh, yeah. I'm not really going to go anywhere else. I'm kind of just going to go get the package, go to work, 
and then go work again tomorrow. I haven't showered. I guess I'm not going to have showered for literally seven days, which is absolutely disgusting. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. What are you going to do? My car kind of smelled like it was burning, so I don't really even want to drive anywhere right now. I'll be fine. Uh, it's just, it's a whole thing. I put myself in a weird mental state when I just kind of like focus too much or I talk to myself. I don't know. When I talk out loud and I kind of like try and think about the things that are going on. Because I try not to focus on it too much. I try and just like be uh, super tuned in on whatever I'm doing right this second. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to think past, you know, the next meal or the next thing I'm doing. But yeah, I was watching Adam LZ. He's over there having like his uh, awesome trip in Japan. He's on his last day. He showed some of his cars, I guess, that he is over in Japan. It's pretty cool. He's over there with Daigo san, like the famous drifter. He's over there too in the compound. I watched like half the video and then I kind of just turned it off so I could uh, do this real quick. My hand feels a little bit better. It's not the worst thing ever. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm gonna wait for my stuff to come in the mail. And yeah, I think uh, next month I'll probably try and go to Firestone and have some stuff fixed on my car just before I have to. Because I have like a thousand miles left until oil change, which I think will work out to be like a month or so. A month, month and a half of checks. And then yeah, hopefully my car makes it till then. And then I'll just throw a thousand dollars at it and hope that that thousand dollars like really pushes me where it needs to go for the next like year yeah I don't know I had more point like I don't know I, f I almost feel I, again I feel like I need to write down stuff because I, I have more points and stuff and there was a lot of things I kind of want to talk about and I feel like I had more focus before I started but I don't know you wake up you hit your vape a couple times and then uh, you know, eat breakfast you hit your vape a couple times and then you also have a terrible memory and you're like, uh, all right, let's put together the pieces. And then the problem is, I just start talking, and I can just, I I I can literally lose focus on anything. Like it's it's so bad to the point where like, um, if I'm doing something, I can't listen to a video in the background. Like I can have it as background noise, but I I have no idea what they're saying, in almost any way. And I can be wearing two headphones and past just listening to music. I can't really focus or tell what anyone's saying if I'm having to focus or do something like I just I can't even yeah I don't know something wrong in my head it sucks maybe I'm just stupid who knows yeah I don't know I'm thinking about getting this uh gaming backpack at some point if it's still on Facebook marketplace it's like a predator bag I'm gonna offer the person like 40 bucks for it but it's way 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 over in Canton so like Realistically, until it's about Christmas time, I don't even think I'm gonna be off work for long enough that I'm gonna have any reason to head in that direction. So, if it's still up in like a month or, or in like 20 or 30 days, I'll probably just see if I can get it. It's a nice backpack, and my Xbox backpack <coughs> doesn't hold my Steam Deck. It's not really, it's not like enough room in there for it. I'd have to take everything out of it. The Xbox bag. Ah, no, I take my hat off. Yeah. It's not the worst thing ever, you know what I mean? Like, looking at day five, no shower. That's not bad. I've been, you know, I got nice shampoo and conditioner and stuff, so. Make sure I put in conditioner and wash everything out. Like I say, like, when I take a shower, like, I'm literally taking, like, a 30-minute shower every time I take a shower. But I have, like, dry skin and stuff, too, so. Ideally, I don't go that long without taking a shower, but, you know. Try not to beat up my car as a just in case thing. I've been seeing some forerunners and I can almost afford some of them. But uh none of them are exactly what I want, you know. Seven thousand's about what uh I feel like I really need to get into something pretty nice that I like. But again, I just until my car breaks down or something bad happens, I can't get rid of this car. I can't get rid of this car, it's too much of an expense, it's too much of a risk to jump off into anything else. You know what I mean? Like, if I put $1,000 into my car and it, and it gets me another six months, like, that's that's money. Like, you know what I mean? Especially at $600 a week. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get off this. I'm going to check, uh, see if my package is ready or whatever. Because I don't know what the post office hours are, so I can go pick it up. Hope everyone has a good day. 
Uh, yeah. See you guys.